Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at installing Windows 10 onto a Windows 8.1 laptop. So we are going to do an upgrade installation, and we are not doing this through Windows Update, as we have not been offered the Get Windows 10 experience for whatever reasons on this system. As we can see, it's up to date. Uh, but it's not showing any updates available for it presently, not offering us Windows 10. We can see it is Windows 8.1 Pro and that it is activated. This is a retail key, so not an OEM install. This is one that I uh, installed from a retail copy of Windows 8.1. And we have on the desktop a copy of our Windows 10 install media. Um, I'll put an annotation up in the top right for where you can see how to get the install media for Windows 10. Uh, I've extracted this with 7-zip or you can write it to a USB stick or a DVD um, but as I just want to run it from this I've just extracted the files and copied them onto the machine and we are going to run setup. I'll mute the sound so we're not picking up any prompts on there and just for the sake of speed I'm going to say not at the moment to get updates it's unlikely there's much that's going to have been updated between the release of the ISO this morning uh, and just for the purpose of demonstration we'll go ahead like so. We have the licensing terms here now it's just doing some checks to make sure the system is ready for installation Now this gives us, it says it's ready to install, we are going to be installing Windows 10 Pro and we are keeping our Windows settings, personal files and apps. We can change this so we can say keep personal files, in which case it will erase your applications but keep the contents of your user profile. Or we can say nothing, which I believe um, will essentially write the Windows 10 setup to a partition, possibly the recovery partition erase the drive and do a clean install so all of your user files will be removed. We're going to say keep personal files and apps though as I do have some things on this laptop that I want to continue to use and this will now begin preparing for the install. And now let's just check things again and if we say install and this will begin the install process this will now go through and reboot the system as necessary um, so this will take some time so I'm going to speed up this and we'll rejoin once the install has completed. we can now go through do the express settings we're not going to bother with customizing things um, as with on the previous upgrade we done we have the option to change our default apps we're going to leave those as standard and with those changes finalized it should do a few last changes and deliver us to the desktop Interesting bug there, it's decided to display in a po small portion of the screen rather than centred. And that's better. Uh, 
And with that done, we're now at the Windows 10 desktop. I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to check for more uh, and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more. We've got a number of other Windows 10 videos already uploaded and we'll be uploading more in the near future. Thanks for watching.